Hi, this is Santina Muha and Christina Shepard. We're here at the Extremity Games. You're watching EndeavorFreedom.tv, and we're here with Rob Nelson. How's it going? It's going good. Good. Now tell us, what sport are you competing in today? Uh, the skateboarding. How's that going for you? It's good. It's getting hot out here. <laughs> yeah, I agree. <laughs> okay, so is that the only event you're competing in, and can you tell us a little bit about your injury? Uh, I have an injury called brachial plexus, which is a nerve injury in my... Uh, in my neck through here that has paralyzed my arm from the shoulder down. So. Okay, and how long have you had the injury? Uh, it's going on eight years now. How long have you been competing in um, extreme sports? Uh, I've been skating for about 30 years, uh, surfing for about 25 years, and competitively just with this the last couple of years, so I mostly do it for fun. All right, so did you do some surfing yesterday? No, I didn't. I wanted to, but uh, we got in a little late, so we weren't able to go do it last night. <laughs> so how was the transition? Skater, surfer before your injury, skater, surfer after? Uh, it's got a lot of qualms with balance, you know. It throws me off a little bit, but you just try to overcome, do the best you can. Lost a lot of tricks, but it's still fun to get out there, you know, with your friends and ride around. So. Do you have any new tricks that you didn't do before? Uh, actually, I do, yeah, a couple. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So now, yesterday, did you say you competed in the surfing? No. Why not? I just didn't didn't realize they were doing it, Typhoon Lagoon, and just kind of missed out. I didn't have a board, so I had to go rent a board. It just was too much trouble to try to do after we were. How did you hear about these extremity games? Uh, through Gary Moore. We, uh, we, he started the Amped Riders, and I got on with him a couple of years ago, and we've done some demos and tours up and down the East Coast. And uh, the extremity games started last year, and we were in Vegas, and they had made the announcement, and we're just like, all right, well, we'll be there. So, so you were here last year? Yeah. <laughs> So you were here last year also? Mm -hmm, and competed, yep. How, what did you compete in last year? Skateboarding. And how'd you do? I got second place. <laughs> Great, that, that sounds really exciting. Um, so you heard about the Extremity Games, and you're, you're with I Adaptive Sports right now, is that correct? Yes. Yep. Okay, and um, you guys are touring. Where are you guys heading next? Uh, from here? That didn't sound good. <laughs> <laughs> From here we're going to go to uh, well, Cocoa Beach on Sunday night and then we're going to fly into uh, San Francisco and do uh, a West Coast tour. So we're going to hit three cities in California and then I'll be flying home. So two weeks on the road. Well, that sounds so exciting and it sounds like you're really busy. Um, if somebody, there's going to be a lot of people watching that want to get involved in this kind of thing. And um, if somebody wanted to get in contact with you, how could they go about doing that? Uh, I have a website called eastcoastaholic.com, and if they want to contact me through that, I'd be glad to, you know, anybody that has brachial plexus, help them out with designing the sling so they could do it. Uh, there's nothing really out there on the market. I kind of came up with that design on my own, and it just keeps my arm from moving around. A lot of skaters that have this injury, some of them just opt to skate with their arm loose and kind of gets in the way. So, yeah, if anybody wants to hit me up, they can hit me up there. So, as a person who has competed last year and this year, do you see any differences, improvements, things like that from last to this? Well, as far as the skating goes, the course definitely changed. Uh, last year we had a half pipe. Um, skaters that are good at transitions, you know, excelled in the half pipe, which would be me. And then we got the younger guys who street skate, so these guys, they're stoked. They're going to have a chance to get out there, and it'll mix it up a little bit, so it'll be fun. So do you think this event's going to get bigger and better each year? Oh, I hope so. Are you excited to come back again? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. 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 Are you a lifer now? You think you'll be here until, <laughs> until you're I retired? I'm pretty old. I might go ahead and retire. <laughs> I'm the oldest. Well, besides Tim, I'm almost the oldest competitor out there. So. Oh, good for you. <laughs> Coaching prospects? I don't know, I guess. Yeah, anything that comes up. Yeah, that would be a great opportunity. I mean, do clinic, yeah, skate clinic clinics. So you've been now you've been injured for a while. So does this kind of stuff still inspire you, or are you kind of just used to it? I mean, I'm pretty inspired. I like to get out there, and people are motivated by you know when they see somebody doing something that you know I guess they shouldn't be doing in the situation that I'm in. And I, everywhere I go, I travel around and skate, and people are always super stoked on it. So yeah, you never get used to seeing something like that. It's too cool. 
Well, that sounds great. It was a, it was a pleasure talking with you. And um, this is um, Christina Shepard and Santina Muha. And once again, your name was? Rob Nelson. Okay. Thank you so much. It's EndeavorFreedom.tv. We're out.